Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to a little 20 minutes till dawn. It's been a little while. I've been playing a lot of slice and dice on the YouTube lately, but um, I had a I had a very unlucky run in my last slice and dice episode, combined with some suboptimal play, to be honest, and it just resulted in a really bad, really bad one. So I figured, I figured let's 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 mix in a little little 20 minutes for a little bit of a tolerance break from slice and dice. I will say, if you haven't been watching the Slice and Dice, over this last couple of days, I've been starting a, a research campaign to really get a good sense of how much likes uh, affect the, the YouTube algorithm. So I've been, I've been begging, I've been begging and, and uh, shamelessly self-plugging at the start of videos, so I'm going to do that here again. If you don't mind, I would appreciate you liking the video, not for me, but for science. <laughs> I mean, it's also for me too, but main, mainly I'm, I'm just genuinely curious about if if people liking the video more does have a genuine impact on the algorithm. At the end of a week or so of doing this, we're going to look at the results. We're going to see if there's anything to actually gleam off of them. And uh, yeah, we're playing Lilith. I don't know. Getting back into the, in the swing of things here, I want something a little bit easier. Lilith Batgun is a pretty brain-dead build, while also being very strong, so let's hopefully... Hop in here. I'm um, get no dedication. Dedication is a scam, so we're not playing that. We're just going with cadence, glass cannon, elemental barrage, and alacrity here, and then courage, momentum, healing, growth. Normal, normal stuff here. Nothing, nothing too crazy or interesting. I did someone in a comment recently mentioned, and it was from a video from a pretty long time ago, I think. I actually maybe it wasn't that long ago. I forgot. I forget which video it was. But someone mentioned that dedication gets turned off by seismic ward, which is really weird. Because it, it creates two little wards, which count as two summons, which is psychotic if you ask me, but whatever. Anyway, let's play a game. Hopefully it goes well. And uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully you're doing well. Again, listen, listen. If I'm playing a game that you don't want to watch, you should, you should not feel like you have to watch those videos, right? If I'm playing Slice and Dice and you are not a Slice and Dice enjoyer, you shouldn't force yourself to watch it. I would say maybe check the game out because maybe you would be interested in it. But like if you're like if you know that it's a game that you're not interested in, like don't don't make yourself like watch it out of like a weird like you know like allegiance, loyalty, whatever thing. Like it it doesn't matter. It's fine. You should you should spend your time doing things you actually enjoy. Um. And uh, yeah, I don't know. But hopefully you've been doing well. I've been doing I've been doing pretty good. Slice and Dice has been fun, and it's nice to have a series that like has been fairly consistently good. It's not doing numbers wise as well as as uh, oh my god, well, look at this, ooh la la. It hasn't been doing as well as uh, Twenty Minutes Till Dawn has been, but unlike most series, unlike most YouTube series that I've done. It has done a pretty good job of, of holding its own statistically. Like it's it's not dropping off too much. So I got like a like a half burp that I'm trying to stifle right now. As I explain this, also holy shit. He's done it. The 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 mythical level four assassin. Nothing can stop him now. <laughs> Hold on. Something might stop him now. Give me one second, please. Would love a level up here so we can get the HP from uh, growth. Be pretty sick. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I want a soul. I uh, know we want. We want uh, what do we want here? These are actually pretty solid. Right. We can get Electro Mage for Energized, which, which would be pretty good here. Yeah, I think we. I think we go Electro Mage for Energized. I think it's good upfront damage here, and then I think it's also important that we get Energized with uh, Thunder Spawns to get infinite ammo later. So that seems like a pretty good pickup, or at least close to infinite. Maybe not literal infinite, but with the summons, with the ghosts, uh, that should be pretty close for us. Now, this is an interesting choice here, right? We have haste for Kunoichi, which is important. We have pyromage for elemental barrage, which is important. But I, again, I have not gone off my theory. I'm still on my theory that Fuselate is secretly one of the strongest perks in the game. Not secretly, but I think it's like a mandatory perk. So I'm taking that here. I have not been fully convinced otherwise yet. I'm not saying I'm not willing to be convinced, but I don't know. There's something about it. It just seems that when I get Fuselate early, the run, the kill count does seem to be higher. 
That's all I'm going to say about the matter right now. Except also I'm going to say that uh, I could definitely be wrong about it as well. Who knows? It's hard to say. I will take power shot here, though. This is like some crazy RNG here. So far, at least. I am enjoying this so far. But it could all fall apart. Who knows? There's Energize. I did want Energize. The rest of these are pretty stinky, so sure, we'll take that. Gotta watch out for these ghosts. I gotta do my best to not move around too much. Gotta remember that. Man, we're, we're kind of killing it here. Um... Now, this is an interesting choice. This Fanfire does get us closer to Fuse Slave, but I don't think I hate Soul Reap. The sooner you get Soul Reap, the sooner you can get Soul Power. I think it's a decent damage buff, but not like a crazy damage buff. But I think it's worth it. I think it's worth taking it here. Um, the sooner you get that one, the better, obviously. The sooner we get Fuse Slave, the better as well. But I think we're not in desperate need of Fuse Slave, and I would prefer, uh, I would prefer the back shots over the, uh, over the uh, fanfire, if we can get it. But fanfire is not bad here, especially like early. It's okay. We'll take rapid fire here. Death rounds also not essential, but it is pretty good. Death rounds effectively doubles our DPS, which is solid. That's a that's a good that's a good DPS increase for us if we get it. But it is by no means a, a, a mandatory perk. Is my current understanding. Hey, you stay away from me, by the way. Don't even don't even think about coming near me. Now this is a a fairly big whiff. I think we take big shot just for Reaper rounds here. We want Splinter eventually too. The rest of these are actually eh. You know, I can I can take Magnetism. I think actually Magnetism is fine for a recharge and excitement. It's okay. It's not amazing, but I think I think big shot is just not going to even be helpful at all really. And this will probably end up being a net positive, although a small one. And like you know, it's nice to pick up things from farther away. I think that's cool. Yeah, we get we get our back shots, Pog. Um, don't even think about it, Mister Ghosties. Cthulhu, it's time for you to die too, if you don't mind. Would love, I would love your undead army uh, perk drop, please, Garcon. No, I'll take Necromancer. That's a pretty good one, especially if we end up getting uh, hell spawns here soon. Would love to see that. Uh, out of these, I think I'm a haste gamer here. Kunoichi, I've assessed as being not essential, but it is still good. We still want Kunoichi. The other perks are kind of mid, so we'll take it here. Rubber bullets is fine. Oh, you know, fire rates are always good, but I don't know. I don't know. Hey, don't ghost. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Now, what else, what else is going on? What else is going on with me? Again, it's been a little while. It's been a little while. Uh, I've been, I, oh, man. I had to do it. I did, I did, it's not that I had to, but I I, I guess I kind of had to. I mean, like, otherwise I'm a liar. I did a I did a stream. I did two streams last week. I've been streaming a little bit more lately, by the way. If you're interested in checking out twitch.television slash dot com slash cranberry. <laughs> Uh, te technically, Cranberry got over on Twitch because Cranberry was already taken. Um, but uh, so I did a I did a, a, a Kaizo Iron Mon stream, and I set up a, a a challenge where if I if I could beat Brock uh, in that specific stream, I would I would be free of punishment. But if I if I did not beat Brock, I would have to spin the punishment wheel, which is a thing that I've been doing lately, which has been I think fun and interesting and engaging. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, you know, up for interpretation, I suppose. Uh, give me the splinter here, absolutely. So, uh, I did a punishment wheel thingy. And the wheel landed on having to play Neopets. And Neopets... I'm sure there's some people here. Based on based on the age demographic of, of my viewers, I'm gonna guess roughly 30% of you have played Neopets. That's my guess. That website is a mess. <laughs> Blazing speed here for sure. That website is an absolute fucking just... Abomination is the wrong word for it because it's just like... 
I don't know. It's so strange to me. Now, if you're not familiar with Neopets, I should I should explain it. Um, Neopets is a is a browser based MMO game built almost entirely on Flash. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Flash, Flash was I I actually you know what I can't even say for certain what Flash is now that I think about it more. I think Flash was technically a like a like a programming language sort of that was used uh, often for for uh, game development and I guess animations too. Um, very popular on websites like uh, addictinggames.com, and I I I, I played so many of them. I could list all like you know, you got Armor Games, you've got uh, Congregate, you've got Addicting Games, you've got uh, Newgrounds, you've got all these websites that like used Flash very heavily. It was in a I think an Adobe product, right? And in I think 2021, Adobe discontinued Flash, which just means that like everything that used Flash just stopped working. I guess it's not a programming language then, huh? But it's some sort of it's some sort of software, basically. It's some sort of programming software, I, I suppose. And they they discontinued it. People couldn't use it anymore. And pretty much all of these uh, things stopped working, right? And Neopets hugely used the website. Now this is going to be a controversial take here. I'm taking Tome of Rage first before Tome of Summoning. I think I'm not certain about this, but I think. A big part about spawn rates is reducing the knockback of your weapons. I think enemies getting closer to you is better for spawning. I have no definitive evidence of this. But I think you need to take at least one Tome of Rage first in your high kill count runs. For them to be successful. That's my current working theory. So we're taking this here. Um, and we also don't have the, the ammo recharging yet to make Tome of Summoning worthwhile. So I think this is the play. Anyway. Oh, sorry, Neopets. Sorry, Neopets. So that was an important moment. I just wanted to discuss that decision there real quick. Fuselate, thank you. Um, so so Neopets, a huge amount of the site, of a, of a, of a browser-based MMO, basically, that was think of it like think of it like Chia Pets. Oh, not Chia Pets. Uh, Tamagotchi. Think of it like Tamagotchi, but as in a, in a browser-based online MMO. Um, it had all these games and all these animations and all of this shit that like revolved around Flash, and then the whole website pretty much just stops working. And like, the, and the thing is that like, it's so it's so so much of it is so bizarre to me. So I've been playing old school RuneScape lately, right? Just on my own. I have no work. Don't. Do not fret, I have no plans on bringing it to the YouTube anytime soon. <laughs> or ever, for that matter, basically. No guarantee on that, but I have no plans of playing RuneScape anytime soon for YouTube. You know, terrifying game in general, but I, I like it. I think it's fun and enjoyable. But, uh, the comparison I made the other day, um, imagine, imagine there is a MMO like RuneScape or WoW or something like that, right? And let's say there's a bug. Let's say there's a bug and one of the bosses is just not working correctly. To the point where, like, you show up into the boss room, the boss spawns but is intangible and does not attack you. Right? So it's just, it just sits there looking at you the whole time, right? Um, I guess I take Watch and Learn here, but these are... Uh, I guess I'll take Fanfire, I think, actually, instead. Never mind. But imagine there's, like, this boss, right, that just doesn't work correctly. It's intangible. It's at the end of this dungeon, and it sits there and it just looks at you, right? And it, you can't hurt it. It can't hurt you. And you're, you're kind of like soft locked in the dungeon. You have to just leave manually and you can't, and the dungeon can't be completed, right? Imagine, imagine that's like a thing in like, in, in, in WoW. Let's just, let's use WoW for example here. I think that's a better example between the two. Uh, I think I take trainer here. Um, right. So imagine that now, now imagine instead <laughs> it's every single thing in the game <laughs> pretty much, right? Now imagine every single element of your game is just like this, where you can, you can, because here's the weird thing about Neopets, you can go to the website and there's all these like Flash games and stuff that don't work anymore, but they're still on the website. You can go and look at them. They, they didn't take them off the site. They're all still there. That's what weirds me out about the whole thing, is that all this shit is still on the website. It's like a fucking graveyard. 
of all these shitty, terrible games. Like, I imagine in, like, an actual MMO, something like this happened. Uh, what do you take here, actually? Maybe controversial. I'm taking recharge here. I'm gonna get my ammo back. And we get thunder spawns here. I think we have energized, right? Am I crazy? Do we have energized? We do have energized. Good. Okay. So we should be going infinite now, ammo-wise here. It should be in the wind. We'll take that. Very cool. I think you take an intense burn here. I think those are all pretty stinky perks, but I think that's an okay one for us, apparently. But yeah, so imagine you've got this MMO, and it's like... Uh, 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 imagine, again, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Imagine, like, a boss fight in an MMO is just not working correctly. I imagine that they will temporarily shut it down and make the location of the boss fight, like the, the dungeon, the instant zone, whatever it is, inaccessible while they fix the problem, right? That's what I imagine most MMOs would do. In Neopets, every single thing that used to exist is still accessible. All of the dead Flash games, you can click on the link to go play them. It brings you to the web page, and it's just like, sorry, doesn't work. <laughs> and it's like, all of it, all of it's still there. And it's just like this weird, just em it's empty, it's just empty. It's so strange. And like, and, and again, this happened, like Flash died in like, 2020 or 2021 somewhere in that time frame right and i don't want to speak too much to things i don't know about in regards to this right i'm not a programmer i don't know how fucking games work really um i don't know how hard it would be to reprogram all of these games and re recode all these games in like a different thing right uh i can't speak to that but the game still has a pretty solid active user base. Not like crazy good, but it's got like, people are still playing the game. I assume it's still bringing in revenue. Um, uh, I'll go generator here, I think. The game still brings in money, is what I'm trying to say here. And it's just, it's just baffling to me that it's just like, you know, in such a, a blatant state of disrepair. Like an absurd you, you would you would just think that they would they would cull all the things that don't work. Because it just looks bad. Like imagine going to a hotel and like 80% of the rooms are just like destroyed. Right? It's just like a bad or like and like destroyed and the door is open so you can see all the destroyed rooms in the hotel. Right? You would think that they would at least, like, lock the door so you can't see it. Like, it's just so insane to me. Anyway, so, when I played... When I, also, I did, I, I'm not just talking about the website. I haven't even talked about my stream doing it. I streamed it for, like, less than an hour because what happened was... Didn't realize this. Didn't realize you apparently can't make your Neopets name political. So, I... First... Hold on, let's see what we got here. Ooh, Undead Army, sick. I first attempted to make my Neopet name number three, or first I was trying to make it number two Mike Pence fan. That's what I first went for. Now, if you don't know, I don't like Mike Pence. I hate his, hate his guts. Not in like a, not in like, but also to clarify, I don't hate Mike Pence in like a, he should have never, uh, he should have never verified the election. I don't hate him in that sense. I hate him in the sense of, I think he's a homophobic scumbag. Um... That's the way I hate Mike Pence, not that I think that the insurrectionists should have gotten him. That's not the type of Mike Pence hate that I have. Um, where's I going with this? Oh yeah, so I, I made my, my Neopet name number three Mike Pence fan, because number two Mike Pence fan was already taken, which blows my fucking mind. I don't know how someone got number two Mike Pence fan before me, but I made it number three Mike Pence fan. I start playing, I play for like an hour, and then my Neopets account gets fr uh, banned. Or they call it frozen, I think, technically. But my Neopets account gets banned. Which is, you know, very, very funny and good. And I was like, what the hell is this? This is bullshit. Um, I then, I then went and, and uh, made a Neopets account named uh, Kamala Harris. And that also got banned. So just so you know, it's not a double standard. It's not like they're trying to silence the right 
They're silencing everyone because they just don't want politics on Neopets, which is also very funny to me. Um, there's so there's so much weird and funny shit about Neopets. You know that they have like a, they have like a specific policy for uh, not making multiple accounts because they they don't want <laughs> they don't want the economy of the game to get ruined. The game has like an economy. Like there's like there's like all these like daily activities you can do that make you money, and they don't want to. Uh, they don't want to put too much like they don't want you making multiple. You can't. You, it says in the rules you can't make multiple accounts because it would ruin the economy if you did the dailies on multiple accounts, which is just very funny to me. Like I oh man, can you imagine on WoW they were like, sorry, you can't make multiple accounts. It's just so weird. And it's interesting too, but it's just mainly weird. I don't know. I also I also submitted a ticket saying what the hell you can't silence me for my free speech etc and they were like sorry please no politics goodbye oh man neopets huh oh uh, we we'll take this is a good dark arts angle here I think this is what we want dark arts for sure so what do we, what do we need for this this run currently we do need we do need uh. I want all this XP over here, by the way. We don't need any of these, really. The eventual ghost, though, I suppose. It's fine. We need Kunoichi. We need death rounds. That's what we're looking for currently. The game is kind of refusing to give them up. Mm. I don't think I take magic lens here. I don't want to. I don't want to bother shooting through it. It's annoying. Give me feed the beast to remove bloat. Here, I mean, Ghost Wizard is fine. I don't know. I, I can't tell how impactful our Ghost Friend currently is. Let's take Siege. Because, again, I want, I want to stand your ground. It's a pretty good perk. I'm going to stand your ground. Very cool. Thank you, thank you. I wonder if Electromastery giving the Lightning uh, more AoE will cause it to uh, trigger more ammo reloads. If it hits multiple people, can it, re can it count as multiple hits of lightning and thus give you more energized procs? wonder how that works. Although I think, I think isn't, isn't energized just percent chance of when lightning generated, not so much. Ah, hold on. Sorry. One moment, please. Not, not so much percent chance on lightning hit. I don't remember though. Who knows? Okay, this boss should not be long for this world, though, I think. They should be pretty close to being dead here. I think we're doing a ton of damage. Okay, if you're going to really force my hand here, I'll take the big shot. I think the, the fire reduction is not worth it, but I don't want to deal with the bloat from the other perks. And it's like, it is a, it is a gun damage increase, so maybe it's, it's good. Who knows? It's so hard to tell. Okay. Do we not have do we not have Reaper rounds yet? We saw it once, but I picked something else for it instead. Okay, you're dead. Very cool. Hoping for a Tome of Summoning here. We do get it. You do love to see it. This has been like kind of perfect RNG. I feel like I don't know. RNG has seemed really good to me. Okay, bring in bring in the boys. I, they're, they're, they're not, they, they actually can't even get close to us. Even with our knockback reduction, the enemies are still so far away. Apparently, I've had Reaper rounds this whole time. I didn't realize. Okay, well, there's death rounds. That's me you do love to see. I do see that Spirit Heart over there, and I do want it. But we'll, we'll pick up another one just out of bounds soon enough anyway. We don't need the damage that badly from Soul Powered. We do have Soul Link here as well, but I don't think it's worth the time to even get hit on purpose. I think we're actually we're actually just killing more by shooting. Oh, is that Terry? I forgot about Terry. Terry, what are you doing up here, bud? Okay, well, goodbye, Terry. Okay, this does nothing. I forgot about that, but whatever. Honestly, it wasn't even worth the time to pick up the chest, I think. 
would have been better off just staying down here. Oh well. Can you imagine if the if the the necrophile uh thirty five percent speed buff stacked? So you could get like, you know, a hundred kills within a second and your character literally just instant light speeds across the screen. That'd be pretty cool. Wouldn't be good, but it would be it would be funny. It wouldn't even be cool, it would just be funny. It would not be very good, not be very practical. Actually, it would be good here. I would actually enjoy that because then I could just zip across the screen and trigger and trigger uh, Soul Link right away. It would be kind of neat. But the only thing we don't have is Kunoichi. It's not essential. We're obviously shooting enough already. We should probably go into auto-aim too at this point. I don't think it really matters too much though. Look at that Kunoichi. Perfect. I, I guess we could want overload too, but I don't think we, I don't think overload is that impactful here. I don't know, it's hard to say. Um We could use culling, we don't think we have culling yet. I think we saw it, but I don't think I picked it. That wouldn't hurt at this point. Dragon egg, a little late for dragon egg here. I think I will take quick hands. Maybe we can, I mean, arm and ready is fine. I don't think we ever need kill clip at this point. I think we were at spawn density to the point where uh, we're generating enough lightning here that we're going to go infinite. But maybe not. It's, hard. it's a little tricky to say, I think. I don't know. Um, I don't think we should collect, exp maybe we should do one loop. Let's do one loop. Collect XP here. There's a lot on the ground here. You get some perks I think are worthwhile. Okay. I think we want soul conversion. It'll trigger a couple random uh, hearts, which is fine. I don't think we want fresh clip. It does pretty much nothing for us. I think this is a little bit better. Although I guess it gives us access to kill clip, which is good. But we're already shooting pretty close to infinite here. I don't think we need kill clip. I think we want... Oh, man. Armed ready or doom, actually? Because armed ready gives us access to bullet mastery, I think. Which is fine. Doom gives you longer curses, so the wither bonus is better. I think I'm actually going to go armed and ready, though. I think armed and ready is better. I think any enemy getting hit by curses... Oh, look at that. Look at that RNG. I think any enemy getting hit by doom is uh dying before it expires anyway so i don't think it matters that much um give me running gun here we are a pretty high level huh yeah, these are all pretty bad soothing warmth is no bloat though so we'll take that dragon egg it doesn't even hatch by the time the game ends so we don't want that obviously and that's our last that's our last lap we're gonna chill here for the next minute I think we had enough XP on the ground there to start causing lag. The game seems to be running a little bit faster now. If you, if you ask me, at least, it seems like it's running a little, little bit faster. That's kind of interesting. It was a lot for sure. We went from level like 51 to 57 there, so yeah. That was quite a bit of XP. I think I don't, I don't think this is a new record for me. This is going to be pretty high. This is at least... It's gotta be at least like 26k kills, right? Somewhere around there. Maybe we're we're breaking to 27. We'll see. This is this has, has to this has to be some of the best RNG that I've ever seen in my life. It's kind of nutty. Okay, this is probably our last level. Hey, you know what, Doom? Pretty good last level here. I'm going to actually go aim myself here. I think auto-aim might not be doing the best job of shooting at the biggest clumps of enemies. I think it's more so just shooting at the closest sometimes, which is not always the best. Let me take control of my, for myself here for the last little bit. Okay, how are we looking? Where are we at? Where are we at, game? 26k? 27 not bad not bad not a new record for me but I'll, i will take a 27k kill coming back thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you enjoyed the neopets rant, uh, rant there and again 
Hopefully you liked the video. Uh, like, like literally, like hit the like button. I want to see if it actually changes anything. Uh, <laughs> goodbye.